The Syrian Arab Army and National Defense Units tightened control on Al Haramiya Mountain in Latakia, northern countryside. Iraqi borders guard foils an attempt by terrorists to infiltrate from Syria into Iraq in an Ambar governorate. The Lebanese army intensifies its storming campaigns in Tripoli and cut off some roads in a bid to capture armed men and the wanted. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mirado Krikorian from the News Center in Damascus. In Latakia, Syrian Arab army units continue to pursue and eliminate terrorists in the governorate's northern countryside. Despite the mountainous nature of the area surrounding Kesab, the Syrian Arab army units were able to take control of strategic points like An Nabi Ashaya Mountains, An Nabi Saleh Hills, Kherbet Solas Observatory, and Qast al Ma'af, following ferocious battles with the armed men who have sustained big losses. Among the terrorists killed, the Egyptian Abu Safiya and the two Saudis, Abdul Muhsin al Sharakh, the Emir of Jabhat al Nusra at the coast, and Abu Yamin al Ansari, were identified. The Syrian Arab army units have maintained control of the hills looking over Rankous and Barada Valley in Al Qalamun in Damascus countryside, eliminating a large number of terrorists, most of them non Syrians, and blocking the roads of supplies between Al Qalamun and the Lebanese borders via Barada Valley. The Syrian Arab army also confiscated large quantities of weapons and ammunition. As the victorious victories of the Syrian Arab army's heroes continue, the U.S., the Zionist entity, and the Saudi regime are still set on escalating the aggression targeting Syria through providing the terrorist gangs with a unique kind of anti-armor weapon, namely the BJM-71 Tau. A video has shown the first use of the American sophisticated anti-armor missile BJM-71 Tau in an attack by a terrorist gang called Hazem near al hish town in Idlib countryside. This is the first appearance of such weapon in the Middle East, particularly in Syria. Western and Zionist media sources have stressed that this new kind of missile, which has appeared in the possession of the armed groups, indicates the presence of a strategic change in the American policy to be expected in the future. The sources pointed out that such information, which has been conveyed by American military experts, also said that Washington had asked Israel to agree to the flight of Saudi warplanes in the skies of occupied Palestine to ensure protection for the American military transport aircraft that will carry weapons to the armed men in Syria to be landed in Tabuk Air Base. UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon has condemned the assassination of Father Franz van der Lacht by the armed terrorist groups in Homs. UN Secretary General spokesman Stefan Dugarik said the assassination of Father van der Lacht is an inhuman act of violence. An armed terrorist group had earlier yesterday opened fire at Father van der Lacht in the monastery of the Jesuit priest in the neighborhood of Bustan al Diwan in the old city of Homs, killing him on the spot. In Aleppo, Syrian Arab army units killed many terrorists and injured others in a series of operations against their gatherings in a number of neighborhoods inside the city and in its countryside. In the city, Syrian Arab army units inflicted heavy casualties among the terrorists in the neighborhoods of Al Jandul and Al Amiria, destroying a number of the machine gun equipped vehicles. Syrian Arab army units also targeted the terrorist gatherings in the vicinity of the central prison and around the industrial city, as well as in Al-Atarib, Al-Muslimiyya, Hindarat, Khan al-Asal, and Darit Azza in Aleppo countryside, killing many terrorists and injuring others. 
The authorities seized five art, art, uh, artifacts in the farm's area in Palmyra today. The archaeological pieces had been illegally taken out by the terrorist groups to be smuggled outside Syria. Meanwhile, the Directorate of Archaeology in Palmyra has been set on implementing a plan in cooperation with concerned institutions and the local society in the area to protect the historical sites there, as well as the museum and the relevant warehouses. As the Syrian Arab Republic commemorates the 67th anniversary of the Ba'ath Arab Socialist Party and within the celebrations held on this occasion, a mass march was staged in Al Mazra'a neighborhood in Damascus to mark the event. Popular and political figures took part in the march, which reflected the participants' feelings of joy and jubilation. In his word during the march, the governor of Damascus referred to the sacrifices of the Syrian Arab army and people. He affirmed that Syria is most precious for every Syrian Arab citizen, and Syria's survival will remain the objective of the people who will always be keen on safeguarding the country's unity, sovereignty, and independent decision-making. Welcome back. In Iraq, border guards foiled an infiltration attempt by terrorists who tried to sneak from Syria to Iraq through Al Qaim area in Al Anbar province. During the operation, Iraqi border guards killed two infiltrating terrorists and destroyed two of their vehicles. Besides, Samarra operation forces killed 19 terrorists, arrested 10 others, and destroyed four of their weapon laden vehicles in a series of raids that included the Salt Island. Meanwhile, Iraqi army dealt heavy blows to the terrorists in Baghdad and its surrounding, killing dozens of them, including three Afghans. Lebanese army has persisted with its security campaign in Tripoli city to detain the wanted and confiscate their weapons. Army units have confiscated two vehicles owned by the founder of the Salafi current in Lebanon, the terrorist Ashuhal, and detained a number of his bodyguards near Al Barania checkpoint confiscating their arms and vehicles. Members of an armed group cut off the highway by setting ablaze tires along at Dabbara area up to Wheat Market and threw three bombs in Abu Ali watercourse. In a new and flagrant aggression against the Palestinian besieged city of Gaza, the Israeli Navy has targeted Palestinian trawlers with machine guns causing heavy damage to them. A Palestinian fisherman said an Israeli military boat has fired at the fishermen on board of their trawlers off the coast of a Sudania area northwest of Gaza City. In a relevant context, Israeli settlers have attacked Palestinians south of Nablus and destroyed a number of their vehicles along Nablus Ramallah Road. Moreover, Israeli occupation troops have stormed houses of Palestinians in the West Bank and detained a number of Palestinians. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has voiced Moscow's readiness to work within a multi-party framework to settle the crisis in Ukraine and hold a serious dialogue with authorities in Kiev. In a press conference with his Angolan counterpart, Lavrov underlined the necessity that other partners implement the agreement signed regarding Ukraine. He warned that any military measure would trigger a civil war. Lavrov reiterated Moscow's stand that solving the crisis in Ukraine could be realized through an effective constitutional reform that would guarantee the legal rights of all Ukrainians. Finally, and back to our local news, the Ministry of Health continues its fifth national campaign against polio as part of its immunization program, which includes launching six vaccination campaigns in all governorates. The ministry also seeks to reach all areas in order to enable all children to get their vaccines free of charge. The ministry will give 11 vaccines for 11 diseases free of charge from the 26th till the 30th of this month. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Nariman Qassam, but after a short break. <laughs>